Hello guys and welcome back to another Tweaker Man video. So I'm looking at the Roxanne K3 DAC internals now. So this is the DAC that I'm doing the upgrades to soon. So we're going to be upgrading these capacitors and these. So this is the capacitor there that's going to take five of these in here. And this is going to take nine of these ones. So these are the Nichicon KG Gold Tune capacitors. These are Nichicon's best capacitors for power supplies. Now, there's other capacitors on here. SMD capacitors, that are surface mounted devices capacitors. And there's 18 of those on this board and they're very small. But after talking to several electronic engineers they said there's no reason why i can't desolder those and solder in normal electrolytic capacitors with legs on now here we have one of the capacitors there okay i'll hone out a little bit on that it's gone a bit a bit light and all I've done is I've just put it on there with a piece of uh, blue tack for now, just to show you. So all we're going to be doing is once you remove one of the SMD capacitors here, one of those, you will have a pad on each side. And all you've got to do is get the polarity right and then just bend the legs over in an L shape. We'll take them down lower than that so it won't stick up so much. And then we'll just solder each leg to each pad. And this will work fine. And the beauty of this is we can use some really high-end capacitors on the uh, signal side of the uh, power supply. Not the power supply, the uh, the uh, signal side of the, of the board here. Um, as I say, these are, are very good power caps. Um, very good power caps. So we won't need to use anything better than that well we could have done but it's going to get very expensive and and i don't know whether it's worth it to be honest with you but when you come to small caps like these i can opt for the audio note kaisa on these which are in my opinion is one of the best capacitors on the market or i can see i can look around and see there now this one here is the toshin jovial capacitors that are meant to be really good and they're very reasonably priced. Now, I think I can get a real big sonic improvement out of this DAC by doing these upgrades. So the first upgrade I'm going to do, because I know that people say to me, just do the capacitors in the power supply first to see what difference it makes. Now, that's what I'm going to do this time. I'm going to upgrade the capacitors in the power supply first. And then once I've worked out the values, the equal values from the SMD capacitors to the standard electrolytic lead out capacitors, then I can get them ordered and we'll do that in a different video. But for now, I'm just looking and just showing you what my ideas are. Now, they look small, but I've watched tons of videos on removing them and I've tried it on another piece of equipment that's just hanging around, not doing a lot. And it came off very easy and I even soldered it back on very easy. Although it looks difficult, obviously there's bigger ones on there that will be slightly easier than the smaller ones. But as long as you've got your soldering iron tip nice and sharp and it's all nice and clean, there's no reason why this can't be done relatively easy. So I'll be doing that on a video, um, on a separate video coming up soon. So hopefully I'm going to get this power supply video up in the next couple of days. So fingers crossed it all goes well. I'm sure it will. Um, I've got total belief in my soldering skills uh, to solder all of the capacitors I need in here. As you can see... Over this side, that was the nice cable that I made for the power supply there as well. Um, 
I could actually take this one step further and put a bigger toroidal transformer in there as well. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I mean, some of these things can get very expensive. So, um, but I think I can take this to a whole new level of detail resolution. And uh, yes, so I think that's it for this video. So thanks for watching another Tweaker Man video. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to give this video a like. Don't forget to press that notification bell so you're notified each time I upload a new video. And thank you for watching, guys.